million foreigners offered UK visas despite delays. Welcome back to our channel Travel and Jobs. More than a million foreigners were offered visas to live in the UK over the last year, the highest figure on record, home office figures show. In today's video, we will update you on the latest UK immigration news and let you know how the UK is still granting visas to foreigners despite the bans. So watch through till the end and subscribe to our channel if you've not done so yet. The UK granted 994,951 visas in the 12 months to March 2022, up by more than a third compared with pre-pandemic levels. The numbers were driven by a rise in students and skilled migrants. There were also 113,000 visas given to Hong Kongers under the scheme for British national overseas passport holders. That began in January last year in response to China's national security crackdown. In addition, the UK granted asylum to 15,451 people over the last year, taking the number given long-term residency in the UK to the highest since 2005 when records began. Figures published by the Office for National Statistics revealed that net immigration hit 239,000 in the 12 months to June 2021. Immigration remained steady despite the severe travel restrictions, with numbers down from 260,000 in the year to June 2020. This was driven by non-EU immigration, with 332,000 immigrating and 81,000 leaving the UK. In contrast to pre-Brexit years, more EU nationals left the UK than arrived, with 193,000 leaving and 181,000 arriving, according to ONS estimates. Critics said the figures betrayed Boris Johnson's pledge to reduce immigration at the last election. Al Mehmet, chairman of Migration Watch UK, said, These astonishing figures show around a million overseas nationals being granted entry to live in the UK. Such a huge number of arrivals can only add to strains on housing and services, put further pressure on schools and the NHS and worsen our congestion woes. No wonder those who voted for the government believing immigration would be controlled and reduced feel betrayed. The rate of asylum seekers granted permission to stay in the UK is at its highest in more than 30 years due to Brexit, the Home Office said. The UK granted asylum in three in four of the 14,603 applications that it reached a decision on in the 12 months to March 2022. The rate is higher than previous years as 2021 was the first in which Britain was no longer bound by the EU's Dublin Agreement. This allowed the UK to reject claims on the basis that applicants should claim asylum in other European countries they passed through before coming to the UK. The 75% grant rate is the highest since 1990 when 82% of asylum seekers were given the right to stay, according to Home Office data. Asylum was granted to 98% of Syrians, 97% of Eritreans, 95% of Sudanese, 91% of Afghans and 88% of Iranians over the 12-month period. Overall asylum applications hit 55,146 in the 12 months to March 2022. The asylum backlog continues to hit record levels, with 110,000 people still awaiting a decision at the end of March. More than 9,000 migrants have arrived in small boats this year, almost triple the number this time in 2021. Priti Putel, the Home Secretary, has announced a new asylum action group to find ways to streamline applications. The average claim is taking more than a year to process. Data shows that 76% of asylum claims from men aged 18 to 29 were granted, despite Putel claiming that 7 in 10 of channel migrants were economic migrants. This concludes today's video updates. Please share your thoughts with us in the comment section below. Also subscribe to our channel for important updates on UK immigration. Do have a great day.